And all of us know that Surah Al-Asr is one of the most important surah of the Quran. And according to Imam Shafi, may Allah have uh, mercy on him, he said that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have revealed only Surah Al-Asr, it would have been sufficient for the guidance of humanity. If Surah Al-Asr was alone revealed, it would have been sufficient for the guidance of humanity. And Surah Al-Asr is also called as the way to salvation, as Rahim Nijad. And Al-Asr means time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this surah is taking an oath of time. And there are three verses in the surah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wal Asr, by the token of time. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Verily, man is in a state of loss. Illa ladhin amanu, except those who have faith. Wa amilu salihat. And those who have righteous deed. Wa tawasaw bil haq. Those who invite people to truth. And... And those who invite people to patience and perseverance. This surah, Surah Al-Asr, it is the way to salvation and it is telling that Allah is taking the oath of time and is saying man is verily in loss except those who have these four criteria. So if you don't have these four criteria, you are in khasara, you are in loss, you are doomed. So the only way you can attain Jannah, the only way you can go to, that you can get salvation is by having these four criteria. Number one is Iman, that is faith. Number two is what is Amal Salihat, that is righteous deed. Number three is Watawasaw bil Haq, inviting people to truth. And number four is Watawasaw bil Sabr, inviting people, inviting people to patience and constancy. So for any human being to go to Jannah, there are a minimum four criteria required. Iman, faith, righteous deed, inviting people to truth, and inviting people to patience and perseverance. If any one of these four criteria is missing, under normal circumstances, you shall not enter Jannah. You may be a very good Muslim. You may be praying five times a day. You may, be, you may have gone for Hajj. You may be fasting in the month of Ramadan. You, have, you may have given Zakat. But if you do not do Dawah, if you do not invite people to truth, According to this surah, you shall not enter Jannah. If Allah wants to forgive you and put you in Jannah, that is Allah's prerogative. That is Allah's prerogative. But according to Surah Al-Asr, under normal circumstances, if you do not fulfill all the four criteria, only doing the hours is also not sufficient, you should have Iman. You should have righteous deed. You should invite people to truth and invite people to patience and perseverance. If any one of these criteria are missing, under normal circumstances, you shall not enter Jannah. It is compulsory that you should have all the four criteria. If Allah wants to forgive you and put in Jannah, that is a different question. Under normal circumstances, all these four criteria are required. That is the reason Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him, he said, if the surah alone was revealed, it would have been sufficient for guidance. And if you read the Quran, there are many places, tens and more than 100 places in the Quran where Allah says, if you want to go to Jannah, you have to be a believer and you have to do good deeds. Iman and Amal Salihat. Iman and Amal Salihat. Several places in the Quran that Allah says, if you, have, if you are a believer and if you do righteous deeds. If you have faith and if you do righteous deeds. 